Hey y'all, I don't normally talk through my videos, but I thought for Claire's uh, collaboration for me, I would give you a little bit of voice work. Um, so I've got two, two projects planned. One is rose into a simple tube, and another is a rose into a skull. My resin has already been mixed up, and I'm using... Ah, uh, Estoyo. It's my first time using this in a lot of projects, so I'm still getting used to it. So, I mixed up my resin already. Just trying to decide how I want to do this. I think I'm going to shove this down in here. Maybe try and... Get, I don't know, help decrease bubbles, you know? One can hope. Uh, well, if there's one thing I'm guaranteed to do, it is make a mess. That's my husband. <laughs> Poor dear. My long suffering husband. In fact, we will be married 20 years in May. I can't remember the, what day this collaboration comes out, but it's, I think it's going to be close. Let me look at the calendar here. Nope. Nope, it'll be... The Saturday after the collaboration comes out. All right, so anyway, let's get this rose in here. Don't want to overpour it. I haven't looked up the depth allowance for the Estoyo resin. I guess I should really do that. But I've done a, a, a skull in one pour before it and it was okay. So I think two pour will work just fine. Well, battery's about to die on me, so. All right, let's get you in here, and hopefully we don't trap any bubbles. Okay. All right. I'm setting my heat mat on medium for six hours. Um, the plan, I have a little plan I'm going to do with some re um, glitter. There we go. That's the word. Glitter in this one. And then I have got some Dollar Tree film that I got. It's like this. It's supposed to be some kind of a band out decoration. <laughs> Can't beat it for a buck, right? Alright. Well, I will come back after my battery has charged and continue this pour. Hello again. Sorry, I had to take a few days off. I have outpatient surgery. And my throat hasn't yet recovered from it, so if I sound a little froggy, that's why. All right, so it's been a few days, so these are very well set. Go on to the next step. Cut the stems and get all this out of the way. Save the leaves, use them in different projects. Never throw it away. Some pretty cool stuff to save. 
Okay. Oh. I'm trying to remember what my plans for everything. Alright, let me pull up a little bit of resin to use with the glitter. Alright. for the skull it's going to require another batch of resin. Don't quite have enough. Be right back. I forgot to find something. I had to go find a pipette. Okay. Let's get a little bit of glitter in here. So uh, I've got Dragon's Kiss from BJ's Glitters and Maker Flow Chili Pepper. Oh, almost forgot. Gotta add glue. I usually use whatever I've got on hand. Today it is Aileen's um, tacky glue. too much in. <laughs> what I want to do is put some of this glitter where the stem is. Go all the way down. Hopefully that'll give it the effect I'm looking for. Okay. 
Just gonna pour the rest in. All right, I'm gonna go make another batch of resin and I'll be right back. Okay, I went and very quickly made a batch of resin up. Put my shards of, I don't know what you call this stuff, film. <laughs> like there may have been a little bit of glitter in there. Oops. Oh well. A bit of plant matter. Hmm. Note to self, make sure your cups are clean. More plant matter. Is that everybody now? I can't remember if film will sink or not, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in just to make sure it doesn't. And if you don't know about the, the glue the glue trick, uh, go check out Daniel Cooper videos about it. It's pretty cool. Alright. Getting this film everywhere. Hey, that's pretty good. Only got a little bit left. Alrighty, I uh, will see you for demold. Here we go with unmolding. Decided not to fill it all the way up because I don't know for some reason my mold is gets warped at the very top into an oval.
I've got the mold to make a uh, light base for this. If I can find it, um, I've already got something poured in it, but you know, you start cleaning and rearranging your craft room and you lose things. So right now that is missing. So I may end up just putting uh, black velvet on the bottom of this. Not sure yet, but it's pretty. And you can just see a little bit of glitter that I put in there. Just gives it a little bit of twinkle, you know? Okay, on to the skull. Oops, looks like it's still a little bendy there at the top. That looks awesome. That color just really pops. All right, so please go and look at the rest of the videos in Claire's collaboration. There are so many wonderful artists that work very hard to put videos out for everybody. And give me a like and a thumbs up. I am just starting out my channel and it takes a lot to grow. So I appreciate you watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.